Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to evaluate expressions with variables next to each other. Now, when we evaluate an expression, we find the value of the expression, so what it equals once we work through it. For our examples, we are going to evaluate the expressions when x equals 10, y equals 2, and z equals 4. Let's jump into number 1 where we have xz. Now we have variables next to each other. This just means they are being multiplied. So we have x times z. So whenever variables are next to each other, this represents multiplication. Now that we know this is multiplication, the first thing that we need to do as far as evaluating this expression is to replace or plug in the given values for the variables. This is called substitution. So let's plug in 10 for x and 4 for z and rewrite this expression. So 10 for x times 4 for z. Now we can evaluate, so let's figure out what this equals. 10 times 4 equals 40. So the value of this expression is 40 when x equals 10 and z equals 4. Now one thing I do want to mention about plugging in the values for the variables, make sure to use something to represent multiplication. For example, I used a dot. Putting the numbers next to each other would not represent multiplication. For example, the 10 and the 4 next to each other would look like 104, not multiplication. Whenever we have variables next to each other, or a number next to a variable, that does represent multiplication though. So something to keep in mind. Let's move on to number 2 where we have x, y, z, so x times y times z. Let's plug in and evaluate. So we have x equals 10 times y equals 2 times z equals 4. Now we can multiply. We will multiply from left to right. So we can start with 10 times 2. That gives us 20. Bring down our multiplication sign and the 4. Then we end with 20 times 4, which is 80. So the value of this expression is 80 when x equals 10, y equals 2, and z equals 4. So there you have it. There's how you evaluate expressions with variables next to each other. Just remember, variables next to each other or a number next to a variable shows that they are being multiplied. So it's multiplication. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.